Hey everybody, welcome to the Game 7 Tournament Wrap-Up Show. I'm your host, Brian French, and uh, my normal partner on the mic, Dave Penning, will not be with us today, as his grandfather, Don Slushman, has passed away. Uh, Dave has told me on many occasions how much his grandfather loved baseball, and he never missed one of his games, whether it be all the way from youth baseball all the way up to the time that he played at Missouri Baptist University. And we would like to give our condolences and our thoughts and prayers to the Benning family as they go through this time of grief. And uh, Dave, our thoughts are with you, bud. And uh, we'll see you soon. So, guys, we have a jam-packed show for you today with the Bunny Blast in St. Peter's, Missouri, and uh, Easter on the Diamond in Springfield, Missouri. So, let's start in Springfield, Mo with Southwest Game 7, Southwest Missouri Game 7, and their one-day tourney, uh, Easter on the Diamond, it was played out at uh, Summers at the River. We start with the 10U division, and the Southwest Missouri Wolves and Coach Lee McLean the third, who came out swinging and did not look back, scoring 23 runs, 12 runs, 12 runs, and 9 runs in 4 games in route to the trophy while they only allowed two runs, guys. That's very impressive. Big shout-out to the uh, Southwest Missouri Wolves. In the 11U division, the featured division from the weekend preview, simply because the NWA Lugnuts were in this tourney. One of the best names ever. I love that. NWA Lugnuts. Shout-out to you guys. The week before, we had the Snot Rockets in the Springfield tourney down there. And this week, the lug nuts. I, I can't get over that, Lauren. It's just snot rockets and lug nuts. That's, that's youth baseball, baby, right there. I'd even call a professional team snot rockets. I think I would. The NWA lug nuts and Coach Brad Blankenship came up from Northwest Arkansas and took care of business, finishing 3-0. and And with a name like the Nug lug nuts, 3-0 sounds good to me. Coach Daniel O'Connell and his Knicks Extreme finished in second place with a good showing, finishing 2-1. So, good job, guys. In the 14-U division, Coach uh, Tony Van Haag. Now, if Coach Tony, if that's uh, butchering your name, please let me know. I appreciate it. And the Kickapoo Gold finally got to play some Game 7 tourney ba uh, baseball after two previous uh, rainouts. And they finished with the trophy. So good job, guys, and uh, keep it up. We look forward to seeing you some more. We want to give a shout-out to Travis and uh, Caleb down there in Springfield, Mo. If you're looking to play in southwest Missouri, give those guys a call. They're doing a great job getting uh, Game 7 up and going down there, okay? So now, before we move on, we want to talk to you about our sponsor, Coolbacks. If you're looking for a unique trophy, Jeff Jones and his company have just the thing for you. We are privileged to be awarding our Cool Bats Top Award this weekend at the Show Me Slam. And we've got that right here. As you can see, we've got the Show Me Slam logo on there. And it says Top Award with REP and Cool Bats on there, Game 7. Jeff, thank you very much. Our award focuses on character, commitment, and community both on and off the field. And we want to thank Cool Bats and Game 7 for working with us to recognize these young players. So go to coolbats.com. It's on your screen here. And see what they can do for you. Okay? So let's uh, let's keep moving on here. Now let's go out to St. Peter's Mo and the Bunny Blast. Team Ali and I, we're talking uh, 8U machine pitch. Team Illini and Coach Nathan Holloway won three games en route to the championship. Now listen to this. 11-2, 8-1, and championship game 10-0. How about an 8-U machine pitch team with a shutout? That's really impressive, and we need to keep these guys, keep an eye on these guys. Uh, team Illini for the next few years. Congrats, guys. That's pretty impressive for an 8-U team. Shutout. As Lauren said, go short, people. Very good. <laughs> the 9U division featured a pair of St. Louis Force teams with Coach Paul, Workowich's team, coming out on top. We have to give some props to our second-place team and Coach Josh Cranwetter, uh, 
as they are an 8U machine pitch team playing up. So you had two St. Louis Force teams, and one of those St. Louis Force teams was an 8U machine pitch team playing up. So, Josh, congrats there, guy. They are currently 5-2-1 and one in uh, Game 7 tourney play, which gives them 370 points and has them tied for fifth in the 8U overall national rankings. So shout out to you guys. Keep it up. Keep up the hard work. Workowich and his team are currently ranked fourth in the state rankings and 31st overall in the national rankings. So, hey, guys, keep working hard. We're looking forward to seeing you out there in Game 7. We also want to give a shout out to the Mineral Area Orioles and Coach Caleb Owens, who had a great showing in the tournament, fell a little short by one run to the champs in pool play important pool play is important we had some familiar clubs playing in the 10u championship game with the st louis gamers blue coming out on top congrats to coach tom, uh, tim boecker and his squad now again coaches i'm going to say if i'm butchering your names please let me know Sh- uh, shoot me a uh <laughs> some information i appreciate it I, I'm, I'm trying not to uh there was a lot of scoring in this division each team putting up big runs Coach Randy Manor and his Missouri Gators finish second and puts the Gators second in the state rankings and first in their class. They are tied for 10th in the national rankings. The 11U division was dominated by a 10U AAA team, the Rawlings Tigers and Coach Mike Rollo. They came out ready to play and improved their Game 7 tournament play record to 6-1. and one. That's pretty good stuff right there. The Illini coach and James Autry put up a good fight but fell short 8-4 in the championship game. Rollo's uh, Tigers sit atop the Missouri rankings in the 10U division and second in the national rankings. Big shout out to you guys uh, for playing up. Great stuff. I know it's tough. Play up, it's tough. In the 12U division, the St. Louis Dynamite and coach David Hartman Came out swinging, putting up big runs in pool play, and finished off the day by winning the championship game against the Naturals and Coach Blair. That is John Blair, excuse me, Coach John Blair. The Naturals and Coach Blair had a great tournament, and as a double-A team in an open tournament, fared very well, and are tied for second in the Missouri rankings in their class. So shout out to you guys, Coach Blair. In the weekend preview, the 13U division was our spotlight division, and the 314 Apaches and St. Louis prospects did not disappoint. The 314 Apaches and Coach uh, Kevin Terrell showed very well as another double A team in an open tourney. The prospects and Coach JB Bryan came in and took care of their business, finishing 3 0, earning the Champs Trophy. Congrats to you guys. We finish out the brackets with a, with the 14U division. Uh, Coach Bob Ledeck and his prospects Black finished out the weekend with an unblemished 7-0 record in Game 7 tourney play. Again, another double-A team showing well in an open tourney. The prospects rank first in Missouri double-A class rankings, second overall in the Missouri rankings, and fifth in in the national ranking so guys keep working our big shout out seven and oh keep playing hard that's a great job st louis bears and coach matt kowalt uh kowalchik gave a great effort fell just a little short in the championship game hey shout out to you guys st louis bears rob your program down there keep going keep working uh, it was an interesting weekend with the one-day format, and uh, so it, it was interesting to see how everything kind of played out, how these teams came out and played, you know, had to jump in quickly on some of this stuff. So next week, we're going to be spotlighting the Show Me Slam in Ellisville, Missouri. So don't miss this Friday's weekend preview. It'll be a lot of fun. We're going to have some interesting stuff to talk about. Another great weekend of baseball, and we would like to encourage you, the fans, get involved. Currently on our website, that is the redearthprod.com website. Uh, the URL, Lauren, is, is currently showing on the screen, correct? Yes, there you go. She's got it working. Thank you, Lauren. And you can see it in the credits below. We'll have it down there as well. You'll be able to click on that if you're watching on YouTube. 
your team is playing in a Game 7 tournament, no matter where it is, and you have some video of a play you would like to send us, we have provided a link on this page. It is the Game 7 video upload link. When you go to the page, it'll be on the left in red. Can't miss it. It's bold right at the top. Boom. It's an easy download. We're using Dropbox to get this there. No fret. Make sure your uh, email is in there, your name, so we know who it's coming from and what it's about. We want to make sure that we get the information correct, okay? So please, get involved. We're looking forward to this. We'd love to hear from you. We'd like to share these videos. This is what we'd like to do on, on our tournament wrap-up show and U Sports and Activities Midwest shows. So please, send those videos. Send them in. Your son, your daughter. We want to put them out there and show everybody what's going on. REP and U Sports and Activities Midwest crew will be out at the Show Me Slam in Ellisville this weekend. Make sure you find the tent. Come by and say hello. We will be holding a drawing for a gift card for those who come by the tent and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That means right then and there. And like and follow our Facebook page. We're looking forward to seeing you, getting to meet you, talk to you, come by, say hello. We're looking forward to seeing everybody at the ballpark. So until next time, and, and a big shout out to Dave Schmidt, Dave Penning, with Game 7 Baseball and Dave get back soon uh, we understand being with your family again our condolences sir have a great day we'll see you at the ballpark